Hey everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of splenic infarct. You may find splenic infarct usually in the sickle cell disease patients, also in hypercoagulative state or in any disorder where there might be the chance of microcirculatory obstruction. A 48-year-old female patient of chronic kidney disease came for a routine checkup. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here I'm going to show you the picture of liver and right kidney. There was mild hepatomegaly with fatty change, which is not a concern in this case right now for me. The right kidney is slightly echogenic. Make sure you have to know the normal echogenicity of the kidney on your machine because it varies from eyes to eyes and from machine to machine. So I'm quite accustomed with my machine and I know that this echogenicity is not the normal one. So it is slightly increased. But if you give me another machine to use, it will take time for my eyes to get used to with that machine's normal kidney echogenicity. This is a very simple situation. Now this patient also had mild right-sided pleural effusion, you can see here. This is the left one, you can see the spleen is quite normal in length. The left kidney is also slightly echogenic. Let's see on real time. Here is the spleen. You can see a hypoechoic area at the mid part near to the splenic lateral margin. It took our concern but with this resolution setup it may not be well understandable. So I just adjusted a little, changed my contrast and now you can see the lesion is hypoechoic. According to book, it might be called wedge shape, but for me, I don't want to say that. Now you can see there are some thin echogenic lines within this hypoechoic lesion. These thin parallel echogenic lines within this hypoechoic area represents the bright band sign, which is a sign of splenic infarct. If you look carefully, you can see above the diaphragm, there is an anechoic area here also, which represents the left-sided mild pleural effusion. Now here's a little magnified view and you can see this hypoechoic area. Do you call it wedge shape? From this view, it looks like wedge shape. I'm always confused about the wedge shape structure. Here's the measurement. You can see the lesion is around 2 cm in size and you can see the mild pleural effusion on the left side. As this structure is superficial, so let's use linear transducer. Here's the linear transducer view. You can see the hypoechoic area with internal bright band sign. Now this image may not be so good, so we need to change the contrast a little bit. So I have changed the contrast and now you can see the bright band sign quite well understandable from this picture. These thin parallel echogenic lines within the hypoechoic infarcted area thought to represent preserved fibrous trabeculae within infarcted tissue surrounded by intervening coagulative necrosis. That's a long talk. Let's use color Doppler. Is it wedge shaped? Here on color Doppler, you can see there is peripheral vascularity. Usually this type of lesion has peripheral inflammatory reaction going on, but there is no internal vascularity. We have changed the transducer. This is a C29D transducer, which is a very popular transducer for GE evolution series. Now you can see some peripheral vascularity indicating the inflammatory process going on. Spleen itself has a very good vascularity, but there is no internal vascularity within the lesion, which confirms it to be an infarct. Here's the color Doppler picture. Make sure this vessel is overlapping the lesion, not inside the lesion. And you can see there is no internal vascularity. In the picture here, but the resolution or machine setup is not well, so we need to change the contrast a little bit and then you will get this type of resolution with same transducer and same preset. Now it looks like wedge shaped, I think. 
So in summary, a focal hypoechoic area is noted at the mid-spleen along the lateral margin with internal thin parallel echogenic lines forming the bright band sign. Color Doppler shows no internal vascularity. So this feature is represented to be a case of splenic infarct, hopefully wedge-shaped. Now the take-home message. About 40% of the patients of splenic infarction are asymptomatic like my patient. Patient may present with left upper quadrant pain or there may be a referred pain to the left shoulder as the spleen is located just under the left hemidiaphragm. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and obviously visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.